it's either in 2K or real life, the Memphis Grizzlies are one of the better teams in the NBA right now. Now, I'm not saying they're the best team in the league. I'm not saying they're better than the Bucks or the Celtics, but in the Western Conference, they're up there with pretty much anyone. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome here today to a 10-year Memphis Grizzly rebuild. I thought this was just going to be a normal rebuild, but I think I'm going to make it 10 years because the Grizzlies are very good in the simulation, but 2K always seems to just F them up when they're starting their dynasty. Like, they'll win a title in year one, and they just maybe flop it in year two, or win in years one and two, but then just are nowhere to be found for the remainder of the year. So, I'm going to hopefully top my Celtics rebuild and win more than five championships in today's rebuild. So if you guys do enjoy these 10-year rebuilds, feel free to drop a thumbs up on the video. I do enjoy the longer ones because you can get more invested into this team. And we have a guy that we are building around, Ja Morant, going nowhere, going to be 33 by the end of this video. He is fine. Like, he's not going anywhere unless something happens. Triple J, though, will be interesting. We'll see how his injury uh, history holds up. Injuries will pretty much be on for maybe the first five years. They might go off um, when we just go to no face camp five-year grind towards the end. Desmond Bain, um, he is an elite shooter. I plan on him being here for as long as possible. He is 24, though. We'll see how he ages. Uh, Steven Adams, good player right now. I don't think he's going to be here for much longer, maybe a year or two. Dylan Brooks, same thing. Contract year. John Conchar, five-year deal, though. He's not going anywhere. Ty Jones just signed a two-year extension. Santi Aldama has been playing a little bit more this season. If he can be a good three-point shooter, hey, seven foot and can shoot 33 plus percent from three i will take that we got young guys still like brandon clark well not young 26 but a jake laravia former first round pick xavier tillman former high second round pick uh and then we have zyre williams former first round pick former lottery pick david roddy previous first round pick this team has a ton of young talent as well as just a ton of top end guys but the top end guys are 23 23 and 24 respectively so for now, I don't think I need to make any moves. I mean, Dylan Brooks, or excuse me, uh, Desmond Bain can't play through this injury, but he's only out for one to two more weeks and he comes back. I actually might even turn injuries off for 10-year rebuilds. I kind of like for them to be off so I could just build the team I'm creating for the 10 years. So yeah, they're going to be off, but let me know if you'd prefer t uh, injuries to be on for the 10-year rebuilds. Just let me know down below and I'll make that adjustment for the next one. So before the trade deadline hits, let's see the roster that I, or the rotation I want to build. Jot the one, Bain at the two, Brooks at the three, Jackson four, Adams five. That's perfect. I'm down to give Santi Aldama to six man minutes. We have Tyus Jones. John Kajar is going to get a little bit less because I'd like Brandon Clark to get more minutes. I mean, Xavier Tillman has kind of fallen out of the rotation um, because I got to play Zyra Williams as well. That's the problem with this team. Laravia and Roddy are most likely going to hit the G League. I feel like I got to find more minutes for Zaire, but it's tough. I think Aldama is going to get about 24. Adams at 25 is fine. Jackson Jr. 31. Brooks at 24. I guess Ja at 35. That even seems a little bit low, but this team is very deep. We're going to send Jake Laravia and David Roddy both to the G League. Yeah, let's do that right now to the Memphis Hustle. We are going to adjust the shot tendencies. Ja to 99 is fine. Triple J could be at an 80. Desmond Bain, I'd like for him to be at about an 83. I mean, Steven Adams doesn't have to be that low. He could be around like a 53. Dylan Brooks could be lower to a 75. John um, can go up to like a 50. I don't think he's going to have too big of a role on this team. But I mean, if he's going to shoot well from three and get some rebounds, maybe he will. Uh, Trey Jones out of 55 is fine. He's kind of more of the, the floor general for the second unit. Santi Aldama, hey, just shoot away on the second unit. Brennan Clark, 55 is fine. And then Zaire, uh, that can go up to a 60. So we'll see how this team plays by the deadline. We'll see how much 2K likes them in the sim. I mean, they usually do when I don't control them. Let's see how much they like them when I do control them. But I'll see you guys at the deadline. And I do want to add talent here in the 2023 draft. So we might have to just trim this roster down a little bit by, uh, by the end of the year. But on having 10 man rotations pretty much throughout this rebuild and then probably adjusting to a nine or maybe even eight man rotation come playoff time so yeah we'll see how laravia and roddy turn up in the g league i think dylan brooks is most likely going to be gone next year but hey let's let's worry about this year did we get ja morant to be an all-star i'm sure we did let's just kind of simulate through this real quick and ja morant is a two-time all-star now because it always adjusts them up nobody else from the team makes it that is fine at the deadline we are 33 and 21 we just blew out the chicago bulls right here ja John Moran is averaging about 27, 6, and 9 on the season. Yeah, we're chilling at point guard. Desmond Bain, elite, man. Look at that true shooting, 63%, shooting 44% from downtown. Triple J averaging about 14.5 points, 6.5 rebounds. Okay. Um, maybe we should try to get his minutes up just a little bit. Santi Aldama, 
I would like for that three point percentage to get up. So maybe we'll just kind of do a quick mentor for him. Desmond Bain seems like the perfect guy to mentor Santi Aldama, at least at the three point shooting aspect. So yeah, like right now he's getting mentored by uh, Steven Adams, but I'm gonna do Desmond Bain. I don't know if this is really smart since they are so different in positions, but yeah, let's try to get um, kind of that three points or corner specialist catch and shoot, and we'll do Amped as well. Uh, taking a look at Jake Loravia and David Roddy, I wish you can see their G League stats, can you? You can't used to be able to see that, but uh, that is unfortunate. You can't at least see it in their player profile, but you can see G League stats here, even though we don't have any. Um, all right, no Roddy or Loravia in sight, okay. So yeah, do we wanna make any adjustments at the deadline? Do we wanna make any trades? I'm not too sure if I wanna really change this team right now. Only thing I could think of is Dylan Brooks being a pending free agent, having a very good season. We could offload him now uh, before I get priced out of him in the off season or in free agency. And then we can give some more minutes to Zaire Williams, which is fine with me. But then again, like Dylan Brooks, such a good three point shooter, at least in 2K and defender. Like he's gonna be super valuable come playoff time. I don't think that's the smartest decision decision in the world to do even though like the lakers would give me that 2025 first which could be insanely valuable then dallas seems like they'd give me a first as well so you know what i think i'm gonna keep them around we don't have any other expiring contracts that i think i should move at the current moment and i don't really also want to give up draft picks as well do we make a play for clay thompson i'm just kidding so yeah i'm not gonna make a move for aiden even though i think that would be a really good idea picking up deandre aiden on this team to have him and triple j in that front court long term but i'm not saying also triple j is here for Forever, because i don't know we'll see we'll see how he performs maybe we can get his shot tendency up a little bit to the same as desmond bain i'm not really sure who i'm going to subtract minutes from to give him a little bit more because brandon clark should probably be playing more so should zaire Jack is shooting 40 percent from three it's tough this team is so deep and i'm not even playing our previous two first round picks so let's just simulate to the end of the season and we'll see how much 2k likes us in the same for the playoffs Luka Doncic mvp bankero rookie of the year i'm hoping to see john morant get an mvp award at some point in this video he does make all nba 13 let's see if we get triple j on an all defensive team and we do so if he's not going to be like the best scorer in the world he's going to be a damn good defender i was hoping his three point percentage can go back to what it was in 2020 because it has been dropping a little bit but he did set a career high in minutes so it's not like i'm not playing him any less than he's done before so yeah we don't have any rookies there because they were in the g league we are the three seed in the western conference taking on the phoenix suns in round one just looking here at the season stats i'm not even sure who's not gonna play for the playoffs because i mean the guys that got minimal minutes um at least like zyra williams I want to give him the run. He's 21. He's a former 10th overall pick. His true shooting was pretty good. Brandon Clark was efficient 56% from the field. John Kachar shot 38% from three and 82 from the line. The dude is hella good. Santiel Tama, maybe I'm just praising too much, but I don't know. Maybe it's going to be Zaire Williams that's just not going to play for the playoffs, unfortunately. And we're probably going to lower Tyus Jones down to about 17 minutes a night just because of Ja and Santi down to 23. Uh, Triple J about 33. I'm going to play Ja about 41 for the playoffs. Probably about 30 to Dylan Brooks and then about 38 to Desmond Bain. I'm for real playing our top guys. Can we beat the Phoenix Suns in round one? And we do. We end up beating them by six. Now we're going to take on another team that 2K loves, the Pelicans, in round two. Ja and Bain getting the job done. Maybe in real life, you'd rather have Triple J. I don't know. Maybe after the season, you're taking Bain. But yeah, Bain is our number two right now on this team for at least the time being because he is so freaking good in the 2K simulation. Uh, I'm going to need him to step up here in game two in which we pick up the dub. I don't want to simulate the current round here because we could very well lose this series. Uh, we pick up a nice game three win. Wow, what a defensive performance. We held them to 78 points. Game number four, we end up winning, boom, by nine points. And can we win this series in five? Yes, we can. And the Memphis Grizzlies are going to advance to the conference finals in year one. John Moran getting it done, 35, seven and 11. Now we're taking on the Dallas Mavericks, Luka, Dinwiddie, Josh Green, Finney Smith. They didn't really make any deadline moves. Okay, so I think we should be able to beat them or does 2K love? Luka, not enough though. We end up sweeping them. We're taking on the Bucks in the NBA Finals. Man, I would love to get a year one title victory under my belt. See, this is why I didn't want to move Dylan Brooks. Look how good he was in that game four. He probably wants a contract extension. I don't know if I'm going to pay him. We'll, we'll see. Game one, we do end up beating the Milwaukee Bucks by 11. Ja with 31 and 10. Game two, we pick up a victory. Ja with 38, 7, 9, and 3. We do win game three. Can we sweep the conference finals and the NBA finals? Oh my God. Okay. We dropped two games after I said that, but we do win it in year one. 
John Morant gets his first ring. And that's your ring number one of the video. The goal is six or more today. And we don't have any, I think, crazy first round picks. I believe we do have the Warriors first round pick next year. Uh, we had the Jazz first round pick at some point, but then it moved from team to team. I believe it's in OKC right now. So our pick is going to be most likely at 30, in which it is. Just looking to make sure we don't have any other picks and we don't. I would like to trade up. And Taylor Jenkins, for some reason, was on a one-year deal. Yeah, we are going to re-sign him for four years. That was most of my money, though. So I don't know if these guys are going to take 68 k a year, but we're going to offer them that. So I don't know. We'll see. Can I get these three domestic scouts? I think I can. Let's go. All right, so it is the 2023 NBA draft. Tyus Jones maybe we move that 14 million dollars but then who's the backup point guard do i need a backup point guard though i mean we could give kennedy channel a run but probably not going to do that i don't mind the center rotation being adams and clark but do i like i'm not going to need roddy on this team i think it's already 22 Ugh, this is tough so the thunder have a ton of young guys and tyus jones is a um 27 year old veteran point guard behind Jay Gilgis Alexander. Would they give me 17 for Ty Jones, 30, 50, and a 2024 second, which I don't think I want to do. So let's see. Will they accept this trade? They will. I'm still looking to move up from 17. I'm going to see if the Raptors would give me 11 for Kennedy Chandler, a late second, and 17. They say no to that. Um, what about if I give you this Pacer second? Okay, so we move up to 11. We're going to stick there. We end up moving Kennedy Chandler and Ty Jones. So we just kind of gutted our point guards right there. Or at least our point guard depth. That could be an option. I don't think... I don't know. If Anthony Black fell to 11, that would be nice. Uh, Jalen Brunson was just traded for the fourth overall pick. I mean, oh my God, if Casey Wallace fell, that would have been amazing. Nick Smith could potentially be an option, but I don't know if he's going to be on the board. A lot of bigs and wings are going right now, which is perfect with me. And there goes Anthony Black. I was up in two selections. That would have been nice. The Utah Jazz are trading pick 10 for Anthony Black. Okay. And Keontae George. Oh, I would have loved him. He goes at pick 10. So there's some really good guard options. There's no point guard here that's fine uh brandon miller would be a nice wing but i don't think i'm gonna go the wing route i think i'm gonna go amen thompson who looks like clear cut the best player available 79 overall at age 20 hell yeah so yeah we are going to um i don't know about insert him into like the starting lineup if uh we were gonna move bane down to the three if brooks leaves but he is very good point guard side shooting guard that is perfect tillman is a also prime trade candidate as well Kenneth Lofton, I would have loved to play, but this team is just so deep, and I'm trying to win it all next year as well. So it's really tough to develop, guys. Uh, Dylan Brooks wants 16 mil. He's such a good system fit, and we have about $18 million. I mean, if we look at the best system matches, uh, Mike Conley, we could get. Uh, we could afford Seth Curry. We could afford Jordan Clarkson. Dylan Brooks, he's only 27. Ugh. Do I give Dylan Brooks a three-year deal, or do I play Zyra Williams at the starting three and Jake Oravi or maybe start John Kachar. Mm, this is tough. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna let Dylan Brooks walk. I mean, it's such a good contract, too. Like, that goes up to like 15 million by the end of it. Ugh, that's such a good contract. <laughs> so tempting, man. That really is. And we already paid Ja. I mean, we're gonna eventually have to play Dylan Brooks next year. Steven Adams is a tradable contract. I mean, Triple J could always be possibly moved. Oh, uh, he's such a good 3 and D guy. I mean, say we did a three-year deal, but that year being a team option for Dylan Brooks, I feel like I can't say no to that. He was so vital to our championship run. He's such a good 3 and D guy. We're bringing him back. All right, so Steven Adams does regress. There's a chance for Brandon Clark to play possibly more than him, but still start Steven Adams. All right, so for year two, it's going to be the same starting five. Steven Adams probably going to play a little bit. Man, I'll probably just stick at 25. 31 minutes to Jackson. 25 to Brooks. I'd like to find more minutes for Desmond Bain because I got to play Amen Thompson. I got to play Santiel Dama, John Sharp, Brandon Clark, Sire Williams. Ugh. No minutes for Roddy Warabia or Xavier Tillman. This is tough, man. This is really tough with this rotation. Uh, maybe we do something like this. Maybe I play Sandy about 20. Maybe Amen Thompson as a rookie gets that many minutes. We'll do about 15 to Zaire. Maybe we'll do 33 to Desmond Bain and we could do one more to Zaire as well thinking oh my god clark might play more minutes than steven adams this is tough man it's really tough to distribute these grizzly minutes and let's see what we can do in season number two i'll either see you guys at the deadline if i think i need to make a move or at the end of the season if we're chilling all right i'm gonna trade for Kyrie over at the deadline no i'm just kidding he's not gonna fit our team but i think i'm going to make a trade for deandre aiden i was eyeing him before and we just have like a nice front court of aiden and jaron jackson jr i think it would work out well and i think it can help us trade at least some of the young talent so we'd have to start with brandon or stephen adams 
we'd have to also throw in most likely Brandon Clark to just sniff the money. I don't know. This actually might be tougher than I thought. And then I would give you Jake Waravia. I'd take on Brandon Goodwin, and I think I'd have to take on Christian Coloco. Uh, what about Dwayne Washington? Okay, so we're off more than 900K. Is there anybody making four mil that I would trade? Nope, impossible. I'd have to move David Roddy, who's, or I'd move, oh, see, your Dillman's only making 1.9 mil. I mean, that does even get it done. 270K more than allowed. This is actually going to be impossible. And I don't want to move Dylan Brooks. I don't want to move Zaire Williams. I would move David Roddy because he's not in the rotation. I would take on Damian Lee. So it would be this four for one. I mean, I'm basically moving Adams and Clark who play for us. Or Ravi and Roddy who are not in the rotation for Aiden. And then three guys that won't be in the rotation either. I don't know if they would even say yes to this. I do have the Warriors first round pick this year. Does it have any value? It might. So I don't really want to move that yet. Um, I would move this Pacer second to my first. I'm not sure if they would do this just to get off the Aiden deal. And they... Wayne Washington has a no trade clause. Okay, I don't think I'm getting Aiden, unfortunately. Let's ride with this team. We are 30 games above 500. There it is. We get our John Moran MVP here in season number two. We average 26 and 10 with a 67% true shooting percentage. Taylor Jenkins, coach of the year with 64 and 18. John, all NBA first team. No Desmond Bain there at all. Triple J on all defensive second team. And shout out to Amen Thompson on all rookie first team. He'd be, oh my God, he could be a triple double machine for us. Did he actually get any triple doubles this year? He did get one. Okay. We are taking on the Golden State Warriors in the playoffs. <sighs> Kind of sucks they got through the playing tournament because we did have their first round pick top three protected. Take a look at the stats here. Desmond Bain did drop 20 and I did go down from last year, but the efficiency went up. It's actually absurd. Triple J's numbers went back up. Okay, all right. He's an 89 overall now. Men Thompson looks like he could be an elite six men behind Desmond Bain for this uh, video. We'll see. Dylan Brooks' numbers did go down, but we'll see how he performs in the playoffs. Santiago Dama shot 34 from three. Better than last year, I will take it. John Kajar is still an efficient machine. 62% true shooting. Zaire definitely needs more playing time, but I just don't know a way to get it to him. So for the playoffs, who is not going to play? I mean, do I need... Brandon Gordon's good, but I just think like Zaire Williams still has higher potential. I think I might not touch the rotation for now. I know it's a deep rotation, but if we start losing games, uh, I'll make an adjustment. But for now, I think I might just try to keep this rotation deep and it looks like we are going to beat the warriors we do sweep them john moran averaged 22 bane with 19 triple j with 17 dylan brooks steps up in the playoffs where we're taking on the rockets who have scoot jalen green and jabari smith that's going to be a problem in two seasons i'm not ready to go through that but we do sweep them right now john moran averaged 32 in that series but here's the tough one new orleans pelicans here in the conference finals they have clint capella now they have jonathan isaac they have a very good defensive team we do win game one by 11 Game two, we do win. We are still undefeated in the playoffs. Triple J with a 30 and nine piece. We are up 3-0 and we end up beating them in five. So we are not undefeated going into the finals. We do have our toughest tests yet. The Celtics, who 2K also loves in the simulation. So here we go. Game one against the Celtics. We do pick up the dub. We blow them out. Bain and Morant combined for 65. Game two, we end up winning. Oh my goodness. We blow them out again. We win by... 40 points game three we end up losing okay by two on the road they win game four we have ourselves a series and they win game four okay um maybe i make an adjustment as much as i love zaire he's not gonna play that many minutes i think i'm gonna also just drop all down to 20 Let's just do 27 to dylan brooks all right here goes nothing game five oh my goodness the celtics beat us they were like yep you're not topping us <laughs> tatum drops 53 game six in boston oh uh, yeah they're up by they were up by double digits i mean they are all right well i just blew that lead we were up 2-0 oh we need to yeah we lost this game okay well we went to the finals our first two years but unfortunately tatum dropped 67 i think that's the most i've ever seen from a player in 2k simulation on normal shot clock no settings change 67 points it's 14 threes get out of here all right, well, I wasn't beating that. Well, we're one for two. It would have been nice to win that, but, uh, you know, maybe we'll make some adjustments to this team in the offseason. LeBron retires, gets his jersey retired by every single team he's played for. That Warriors pick is most likely going to be at 15 or 16. It's at 16. We also have our pick at 29. I'm going to revisit the DeAndre Aiden trade talks. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna revisit it. If we did Adams, Dylan Brooks this time around, I would give you pick 16, 29, 35 i think they would even accept this i don't know who else i would throw in here probably nobody so would they do this they will not um okay uh i guess i could wait till after team player options um 
Yeah, because I don't want to gut my picks anymore. Because maybe Will Ravio or just Roddy gets it done. So DJ Wagner went number one to this. Oh my god, I didn't even realized the Spurs had the first two picks and the Thunder had the next two picks. That's kind of crazy. So we're gonna sign Caleb Foster, Homer Gardner, and then Ellis Livingston, but guys might be going to phoenix unless there's any other center that i'd rather trade for but i do like the idea of getting deandre aiden and he's been on the trade block every single year of this video so far so if we did dylan brooks we did steven adams that gets it done money wise which is nice uh that is the perks of the offseason we would also maybe keep caleb foster can we do jake waravia can we do david roddy and we will do i don't even think i need to give up any more picks yeah let's do that i mean we can keep homer gardner would they do this? They do. All right. Welcome to the team, DeAndre Aiden. We are going to have to pay Desmond Bain a lot of money. Tillman's gone. So is Vince Williams Jr. The Dallas Mavericks. Oh my God. Imagine Desmond Bain next to Luka. That'd be insane. But yeah, they offered him a deal. We are going to match that. So even though we did lose Dylan Brooks, I think we did get better this offseason. We have a nice big four now, Aiden and Triple J in the front court yeah big four not the accounting firms but then we got him and thompson as an 83 overall sixth man he looks like a beast zyra williams i finally get to start i'm excited for that so the rotation for year three job ja, bane williams triple j aiden amen thompson aldama Kanchar, and clark off the bench yeah i don't think gardner or foster are gonna play this season and i'm gonna go back to that nine, nine main rotation we're gonna do 17 to these two 20 to santi aldama see how well he shoots from three we'll do 27 to Amen Thompson. I'd like 31 to the front court. I'd like 28 to Zaire. 33 to Bain. 36 to Ja. System proficiency is four and a half star balanced. Let's go to our third straight five. So this team is just dominating. Ja Morant picks up his second MVP of the video. Tops last year's season 57 47 90 splits. 67.8% true shooting percentage out of this world from him. We are going to get coach of the year. 64 and 18. Nick Smith, who I almost took over Men Thompson, gets most improved. He's killing it in Denver. Ja on all NBA first team. And then are we still going to get Triple J on all defensive second team? It seems like that is the trend. We are the one seed in the Western Conference, taking on the Warriors for the second time in a row in round one. Desmond Bain's numbers did go down a little bit, but his efficiency was still elite. Uh, like, I'm definitely worth every penny. Triple J, 15 points, five and a half rebounds, 33 from three, 84 from the line. 3.7 fouls per game. Still kind of high. DeAndre Aiden's numbers weren't the best, but that's what I expected. We still just have that big body presence that fits the timeline with everybody else there at the five. Zaire Williams, man. This is why I wanted to give him minutes. I'm scared to see how much he's going to ask for in free agency as he was undecided. Or I don't think he was eligible for an extension midseason. But he's good, man. He's good. And he's only 23. And man, Thompson was great. Even though the efficiency did drop. Well, I guess true shooting went up, but the three-point percentage went down. Still really good. Eight assists, man. Love that. Santi Aldama shot 38 from three. Yes. Kachar shot 44 from three. 63% true shooting. There's Brandon Clark. So for the playoffs, I would like to get, I think, like 15 minutes to these guys, maybe 18 to Aldama, 32 to the front court, 34 to Bain, 29 to Williams, 38 to Ja Morant. Are we maybe five star system proficiency or three and a half? Round one against the Golden State Warriors. And we sweep them for the second straight season. So we're chilling there. Desmond Bain and John Morant going off. John Morant had 15 assists and three steals. And we're taking on the Thunder, who are good. And they got Wemby. Chet off the bench. Can we please beat them, though? Yep. We end up gentlemen sweeping them. And for the third straight year, we're taking on the Pelicans in the conference finals. John Morant dropped 37 and a half and 10. Two steals as well. They still have CJ at the one. I wonder if that's hurting them at this point, but he's been good in the playoffs. He's been great actually for him in that specific role. Herb Jones, I'd love for him to be on this team. Just don't think I'll ever pay 30 million for him just with his specific role. And we end up winning, I believe in six. Yes, it was in six. John Morant gets Western Conference Finals MVP. Halliburton Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Don't worry. My next zero to 18 rebuild will be with the Pacers. We're on my first one of 2K23. Um, and I'm very excited with Benedict Matherin and Halliburton in that one. But those videos do take a long time and I've been going away. I went to Tampa this past weekend. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but the weekend of the 12th, I'm going to Phoenix. And then the weekend after that, I'm going to Charlotte. Then it's the holiday so it just takes a little bit of time but don't worry it's coming i would like for that video to get out before the end of 2022 and we are going to gentlemen sweep the indiana pacers we've been to the first three championships in this video 
and we won two of them. We do have our pick at 30 in this draft, and I don't think I'm going to make any moves here on draft night. So we ended up taking Mike Jeffries, a 6'5 guard out of Bradley. Can't say I'm too familiar with that college. We are going to pick up the team option on our second round pick, Ellis Livingston. Or Levingston. That's a decent amount of money. Two million for a second round pick. Well, I accidentally just declined it. I thought I approved it. All right, at least we brought Amen Thompson back. I mean, we can actually save that money. Yeah, Zaire is a restricted free agent. So is Aldama. Don't mind getting back Aldama on the qualifying offer. I don't think I'm going to pay him $14 million. I don't want to pay Zaire that much money either. So I low-key just might hope they both come back on the qualifying offers. And it looks like we will get him back on those. Yeah, I think we're chilling. And boom. There we go. Zaire back for 9.83 mil. Santi for 5.94 mil. I would like to give Caleb Foster some run this year. So looking at the team, we have Job Bain, Williams, Jackson Jr., Aiden, Amen Thompson. He can get about 27. We'll probably do 18 Aldama, 15 to John uh, Kanchar. We'll do 12 to Clark. I'd like to do about 12 to Caleb Foster as well. 30 to Aiden and Jackson. That will change for the playoffs. 28 to Zaire Williams, 32 to Bain, 36 to Ja. We are four and a half star balance. Let's see if we can win back-to-back -back finals and get a couple to start this video three and four years uh jackson jr is due for an extension that's a lot of money um i might wait till free agency or i can maybe just like front load that aiden's a free agent as well okay we're gonna worry about these guys in the off season um john guitar should probably bring him back on that deal yeah let's give him a one-year extension because he's an elite shooter for us clark's probably gonna be gone so this grizzlies team is gonna win 60 games again and i also panic sign <laughs> triple j uh aiden and i even brought brandon clark back on a one year three million dollar deal holy crap zach justice first overall pick last year six nine power forward well the counting stats were great but the efficiency was horrible all right i meant thompson six man of the year a hey, let's go 12 and a half points career high 6.2 rebounds career high and 8.3 assists a career high let's freaking go and do we get coach of the year again yes we do john moran all nba second team triple j all defensive second team as well taking on these san antonio spurs in round one of the playoffs they have dj wagner herbert jones kind of love that backcourt hey bump up his shot tendency keldon johnson xavier booker and jakob pertle that's a fun team and bones island off the bench so here were the stats throughout the season john moran's numbers did go down a little bit maybe because we have a backup point guard now i think kale foster who played great in his minutes oh my goodness Oh, he's really good. I feel like I got to play him for the playoffs. I think Aldama's probably going to be gone next year since he will be an unrestricted free agent. So I think I might just play um, Caleb Foster like a little bit more. Like, can we give him about 20 minutes a night? Um, let's do 31 to Aiden and Triple J. Let's do 30 to Zaire. 34 to Bain. Maybe we'll do 36 to Bain. 38 to Ja. See what happens here against the Spurs in round one of the playoffs. And we give them... The good old sweep. So I'm still prioritizing the future, but also win now. Um, also, it doesn't seem like we're slowing down as a Western Conference juggernaut. Round two against the Utah Jazz. They have Anthony Black. Stole him for me. But hey, I'm very happy with the men. Thompson, Amar Bailey, Terrence Davis, Sadiq Bay, and Demonte Sabonis. They still have Sexton, Vanderbilt, and Baji. And they've directed Aaron Bradshaw as well. And we gentlemen sweep them. So we're going to our fourth straight conference finals appearance. Well, John Morant was great in round one. Um, in round two, Ja dropped 22. I think after round one, I looked at the season stats. It was all messed up. Emmanuel Moutier back in Denver, the team that drafted him. Wow. OJ and Obi Nick Smith, what a wing duo next to Jokic. They have Okongwu, Rozier, Kendall Brown, Jay Sean Tate as well. And we are going to sweep them and go to our fourth straight NBA finals. Possibly up there with the Cavs as our biggest test yet or our toughest test is the Cleveland Cavaliers. They are so good in the simulation. We lost game one. I think I ruined up the uh, tradition of just checking the stats after each series. And Caleb Foster dropped 18. He needs to be the seventh man next year, 100%. We win game two by eight. He drops 28. He doesn't miss. Game three, we end up winning. Let's go by five points. Job with 34, 10, and nine. Game four, we end up losing Ugh, by eight. Okay. Eight him with 27, 10. Game five, we end up winning it's by 17. Can we win in six? Yes, we can. So we win our third championship in the video. We've been to the first four finals of this video. I just need to win two more. And I top my record for 10-year rebuilds here in 2K23 while not also just being super unrealistic those fantasy style rebuilds all right everybody it's grind time right now so we're gonna go no face cam here we have won three championships in four seasons let me know if you guys do enjoy the no face cam or do you prefer seeing my face i guess that helps with a visual reaction but some people might just like the laid back voice 
Um, no face cam. DeRozan and Chris Paul uh, retire and head to the Hall of Fame. And sometimes I do like doing no face cam because, hey, I could look like absolutely shit, but I could still record a video because you don't have to see my face. I would have just got back, played a game of basketball. Your boy dropped two points, one for two shooting. I'm like that. And in this draft lottery, we have pick 30. I would like to acquire maybe another random pick of a team that I think could be possibly bad down the line. Keeping Taylor Jenkins as our head coach. Picking up Christian Hendricks as our assistant. So it is the NBA draft here. Just looking at the squad right now, I'm fine having this depth. Even if Conchard, like he's such an elite shooter. I think I, like, I have to keep playing him. What is that college? IPFW. Indiana University, Purdue University, Fort Wayne. Okay, interesting, interesting. But uh, yeah, like he's just such an elite shooter. Brandon Clark, I mean, his contract goes down so much, I don't have to play him that much because it goes down about $9 million. And I mean, like, he could let it get 10 minutes a night. And he's been here for seven years. I'd like to keep a lot of these Grizzlies around for a while. I like having the longevity of these players. We got Thomas Finley or Tomas Finley, seven foot center out of the Air Force. Salute to him. And then we got Willard Reed here at pick 48. Team player options, Amen Thompson. He's up to win 88 overall. Going to be the league's best six man. Only thing is he will be a restricted free agent next year. I got to be willing to pay him $30 million. Jimmy Butler is going to head to free agency. Lewis King, that's Oregon Lewis King, right? Um, he is going to head to free agency right now. Zaire Williams, $28 million. Santi Aldama most likely gone. Oh, that's a lot of money when I'm especially going to have to pay a, man, a man Thompson next year. I'd like to keep bringing him back though. So I'm going to give him that fifth year, about $22 million per. Aldama will keep an eye on, but we'll just see if he drops in his um value uh like i would literally sign him to a one-year deal but hey we can give some of the other guys some run like we can have um kale foster be the full-time seventh man even though santel thomas has been a fun player man did i think last year that I was going to be like using this guy as a seven foot shooter off the bench no not really but he has improved a lot since his rookie season i didn't know much out of him or uh, from him coming out of loyola uh when he was drafted pick 30 in 2021 uh like that was somebody i didn't even have my eye on in the first round i didn't I, like i heard his name in one i think draft podcast but i wasn't watching watching any Loyola film on Santi Aldama. I did not think he was going to be going this high. So it is day 12. We could offer him a one-year deal worth about $10 million. I mean, right now we have about three, six, seven, eight. Like we have enough guys in the rotation. I think Aldama might be walking, unfortunately. I know. End of an era. Maybe we'll bring him back one day. John Kachar. Oh, he's regressing. That, that is brutal. All right. So we do have John Morant, Desmond Bain, Zaire Williams, Jaron Jackson Jr., and DeAndre Aiden. I think Thompson and Foster are probably going to both get 27 minutes a night. I guess this will open up some playing time for mm, Homer Gardner. He's going to get about 10 minutes. Uh, I think Clark's going to get 10 minutes with him. Kanchar's going to get about 13. We'll probably do 27 there. We'll give uh, Kale Foster about 23 uh, minutes. That's about a 10-minute increase from his previous season. I'd like to go 31 of these guys, and then we'll do 29 to Zaire. <sighs> Maybe 35 there, 31 to Desmond Bain. I know I'm not playing Desmond Bain too many minutes. Uh, contract extensions, Jaws open for a new extension. All right, let's lock him up now so we don't have to worry about him down the line. And then let's just look at our system proficiency, which is four and a half stars. And then is there any shot tendencies that I need to adjust at this current moment? I'm fine with most of these. Yeah, Kale Foster. Oh, that's why he's at a 99 shot tendency. We can lower that to like an a 77 as well clark that's fine all right so i will see you guys at the end of the year if we are struggling then i will see you at the deadline all right yeah this is what this team has come to um i don't know if i love this i don't know if i do <laughs> um okay i just like john morant's 27 and he's averaging 18 points like he was averaging 10 more basically a year ago it's basically because kale foster is averaging a lot we might just mess around with these shot tendencies i mean we are 40 and 15 though like we heard 25 games over 500. I mean, Ja, we could stick at a 99 still. Jaron Jackson Jr. down to like a mid-70s. Desmond Bain can go down to like an 81. Aiden probably to like a 74, 75. We could do probably a 70 to Caleb Foster. And we'll see how that changes for the rest of the year. And Homer Gardner as well does not to be that high. He's at a 72 right now. He's shooting 40 from three. I mean, I'll definitely take that. But uh, yeah, we're 40 and 15. We're killing it. I don't think I'm going to make any trades. And we're going for title number four. So Shea gets his first MVP of the video. Richie Mason, who was a former number one overall pick this past number one overall pick, gets rookie of the year. Giannis Depoy, Malachi Branham in Milwaukee getting uh, most improved as Giannis is in Portland. Ooh, it looks like there's a team better than us in the Western Conference. Mark Dagno, I'm assuming of the OKC Thunder, gets coach of the year. Zach Justice did get his true shooting up five percentage points. I mean, he's already on the first team in his second year. He puts up crazy stat numbers. The efficiency still isn't great. Yeah, no job making an all-NBA team because 
We are way too allocated, I guess, with our scoring and stuff. Uh, Jaron Jackson Jr., all defensive second team, and we end the season as the two seed. So, yeah, this Thunder team is the team to beat. I mean, they do have Wemby and Chad Holmgren. Nothing I could do about that. I'm hoping Jaron Jackson Jr. and DeAndre Aiden can hold their own. And, yeah, like, John finished stronger than what he was doing midseason, so I guess that kind of worked. If we are going to edit the rotation a little bit, I don't think Homer Gardner is going to play for the playoffs. About 10 minutes to Clark. Kanchar is still with a 56 shoot shooting this year. Okay. That's because the field goal percentage dropped. He might get 12 minutes tonight. Caleb Foster. I mean, he's an elite shooter as well. He's a good scorer. I mean, like, there is a world that where I just, like, I should have let Zyra Williams walk, start him in Thompson because I'm going to have to pay him so much money. Um, All right, so I got about 11 minutes to play with. Let's do 38 to Ja, 33 to Bain, 30 to Williams. 33 to Jackson, 33 to Aiden, 28 to Amen Thompson. We should beat the Sacramento Kings. I'm sorry, like the Beam fans, but Davion Mitchell's there. Dyson Daniels in that backcourt. No more Darren Fox. It looks like they do have Jordan Poole, Lowry Market, Injuries Walker, Jalen Duran, Justin Edwards, Jackson Hayes, Killian Hayes. Whole new team over there in Sacramento, but the Memphis Grizzlies are going to sweep them. And we're taking on the Pelicans again in the playoffs. That has just been a theme here in this video. But we've been owning them year in, year out. DeAndre Aiden with a nice round one there. Have they... Oh, okay. <laughs> They've added Steph Curry. So they don't have Brandon Ingram anymore. But Steph did not play well in round one. It looks like he... Maybe he's regressing a little bit. He's still an elite shooter. Dinwiddie, AJ Griffin, and Zion. So they got that Duke forward combo. Dwayne Spencer, who they drafted fourth overall in 2025. Looks like he's a solid center and he's very young. Kyra Lewis is somehow still there. Yeah, I was going to say, did he even come back? And that is true. And he's kind of... Uh, rejuvenate his career revitalized it and we are going to beat them in five we just continue to owe uh own excuse me new orleans and we have what seven guys in double digits crazy crazy now here we are collision course with okc we do lose game one by a lot of points oh boy yeah um i think we got to notice this oh okay yeah man thompson was just efficient as hell that this team is on the rise and if we i think continue our roster i don't think we're gonna beat them like if they dominate us we're kind of screwed do i just let ja cook um we're down 3-0 so i might as well um all right we're gonna let ja cook let me just lower some shot tendencies a little bit bane that's fine jackson jr down to a 74 thompson down to a 70 um aiden down zyre williams down ja can you cook for me and win me game four yes he can let's go well it's not even him that cooks whatever uh bane Drops 21, and we do end up getting gentlemen swept. Shea and Garland are your final MVPs. All right, so we have a team that is, I think, past us as the current best team in the Western Conference. So we do need to not get complacent and get a little bit better this offseason. I'm not sure where I want to change that. Um, I'm not sure what I would want to do. Maybe we run the team back and just see if we get bounced two years in a row. We do have our pick at 29. All right, do we move in a different direction from Taylor Jenkins? I think I'm gonna give him a two-year extension. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. I mean, he has given me three championships in four seasons where we went to the finals four straight times. So, hmm, um, I'm not too sure what I wanna do. Oh, is Desmond being a free agent? That's just great. I don't wanna let him walk, I don't. Um, He's only 24 years old too, I can't let him walk. I don't know what to do. I, I I don't know. Do I move Zaire? Do I let Bane walk and just start a man Thompson? But Bane is such an elite shooter. I really don't want to do that. So we got Max Evans here at 29, another seven footer. And Giacomo Salvaderi at pick 59 from, I was going to say Italy. And yep, he was from Italy. Uh, Desmond Bane opts out. We do want to bring him back. I think there is a chance that maybe Brandon Clark, who is a free agent, is just not on the team next year. And we start one of the centers that we've gotten in the past drafts we get a little bit younger there maybe john Conchar. i let walk because we're gonna have to pay a boatload of money to desmond bain and amen thompson wait he's 29 did it say 24 here or am i tripping i don't know i thought it said 24 and i was like wait desmond bain's got to be older than 24 maybe i was looking at somebody else but yeah maybe i was looking at thompson uh so he's 29 we are gonna give him a four-year deal and then amen thompson i will match any deal he gets so we do bring back desmond bain and then we'll see if Amen Thompson gets a deal. He does not. So we'll see if he maybe goes down in price towards the end of free agency. All right. So he does have seven offers. I doubt any of them are real. So on the last day of free agency, I'm going to offer him a contract. I'm sure it's going to be a one-year deal. Okay, a five-year deal for about $150 million. We just basically Jordan pooled that. So yeah, everybody's still under contract. Like Ja, four more years. Triple J, three. Bane, four. Amen, five. Aiden, three. Zaire, four. Like, we have the core locked up. Caleb Foster will be a restricted free agent next year. And I know I definitely can't afford to pay him max money, which he probably will want. All right, so Mike Jeffries, he's a first round pick from a few years ago. We could give him some run. I don't think I'm going to play Brandon Clark or John Kachar. We're going to go in a new move. Uh, Mint. We did draft Tomas Finley a couple years ago. Um, So we're going to give him about 10 minutes tonight. I think Gardner about 15. 
15. Mike Jeffries about 10 as well. They're going to get some run, these former first round picks. Caleb Foster about 21. Amen Thompson about 29. That's fine with me. 30 to Aiden, 30 to Triple J. 26 to Zaire is fine. 33 to Bain, 36 to Ja. Five star system proficiency. Let's go. Let's see where we are at the deadline. If the Thunder are much better than us, then I could make a move. So we are 44 and 12 at the deadline. I don't think I'm going to make any moves. We are neck and neck with the OKC Thunder right now. Do we got the old job back? Okay. Yeah, we're getting the old job back. That's what I want to see. I didn't want to see him averaging 18 points. That's not his game, yo. He's going to be averaging 24 plus for us. Come on. I am bringing back Brandon Clark and John Kachar on the minimum. They're going to be Grizzlies for life. Why not? So Luka Doncic on the Rockets gets MVP this season in his age 29 year. Dean Gilbert on the Lakers. Rookie of the year. He was the second overall pick in 2027. Ron Holland, sixth man of the year. He's been consistent so far for the Pelicans so far. Giannis Depoy, Gregory Jackson, and Philly most improved. Boom. Taylor Jenkins with another coach of the year. Does Jock get back on the All-NBA teams? Yes, he does. All-NBA third team averages double digit assists. Jaron Jackson Jr., man, he's just so consistent making those all defensive second teams. We're taking on the LA Clippers in round one who have Jalen Brunson, Jalen Brown. They don't got Brunson in the Knicks jersey. Come on, and Joyce Randall, a couple uh, current Knicks. But here's pretty much the stats from this season. Jaw 23 and 10. Bane shot 44 from three. He's a career 43% free throw shooter. Absurd. Can you see a career true shooting percentage? I'm not sure. Yep, 65% absurd zyra williams 14.6 points i mean he was very efficient 70 percent true shooting triple j we know he's an all defensive caliber player him and aiden are up there in age they're both 29 right now there's a man thompson averaging 13 7 and 8 now that he's 25 how many triple doubles is he getting a season okay career high five right there Caleb Foster, man, he'd be an elite scorer if we actually played him like a lot of minutes, but our team is too deep at the moment. So for the playoffs, I'm not going to play either Jeffries or Finley. Probably Jeffries just because we could use that height off the bench in Tomas Finley. Uh, he can get about 10 minutes a night's fine. Homer Gardner, not too bad of a player actually, but he's going to get about, that 15's fine. Caleb Foster's fine. Okay, so I want Ja getting 40 Bain getting 35, Zaire 28, and then 31 to the bigs. Round one against the LA Clippers. I feel like we've gentlemen swept or swept every round one in this video, and that trend continues. So we beat them. Ja and Bain score 20 plus. Now we're taking on the Golden State Warriors, who have Fox, Scoot Henderson, Andrew Wiggins, Keegan Murray, Jabari Smith, Wendell Moore. Okay, solid team, but we should be able to go to the conference finals. And we do just that. We end up winning in five. And what happened, uh, Thunder? You didn't go to the conference finals this year. They end up losing in seven to the Spurs. Well, thank you for doing our dirty work, San Antonio. Uh, and we are going up against a Luka less Dallas, but okay. <laughs> they have Lamelo and Shea in the backcourt. I mean, I'd rather have those two players together than um, Luka. And then you have a Sore Thompson over there. That is pretty cool. A Sore versus Men Thompson. And we, oh, I don't know. Well, Zach Justice, dude's is freaking stud. He, he's got his efficiency now about week average. It's been getting better each year. Did we advance? Yes, we did. Let's go. We won in seven. Ja averaged 30 and 11 in that series. We ended up winning by four. Zaire with a 35 piece. Ja only taking 13 shots and still scoring 33 points. That's just what he does. Holy crap, what a series from John Moran. Zaire, he's been a beast too. Now we're taking on Chicago, who have arguably the best player in the NBA, or becoming that in Zach Justice. He's really good. And we are going to lose in seven. No, we had a chance to get title number four there. Oh, that hurts. What did game seven look like? Oh my god, we had it in the fourth quarter. We scored 12 points. No. A lot of notable names retiring this season. We'll see who's going to the Hall of Fame. Kawhi, Lillard, and Butler. They usually retire together. So we're going to have a pick probably at 29 again. Yep. So we end up with Noel McDonald here at 25. 22 years old and he's a 69 overall. Yeah, Matt Murray is better news. Mr. Irrelevant. Uh, picking up the option on Mike Jeffries, Tomas Finley, who hopefully develops a little bit like maybe up to the high 70s at the end of the year and said we'll play maybe max evans next year i'm hoping caleb foster and homer gardner come back on the qualifying offers because i most likely will not be able to match their deals and it's looking like we may go that way so we can actually kind of steal them for another season which is nice but yeah i'm not going to pay them when they're unrestricted free agents i do have to think about do i want to possibly move on from bane Aiden or Triple J. Triple J is still only 28. Aiden is 30. I'm sure Triple J will be 29 very soon. Hmm. Um, because like we could play a men Thompson at the two and then move Bane for a front court guy, and then we can move off maybe one of those plays for picks. Maybe at next year's draft. Because you were we lost in the finals last year in game seven. 
by 14, well, whatever it was, and we blew a lead in the fourth quarter. So if we can't win it all this year, then I'll know I need to go in a different direction with this team. So that 10th spot, I think might go to Max Evans because Tomas Finley didn't really show me much this past season. Uh, yeah, we'll do something like this. Homer Gardner there. Caleb Foster about 22 minutes in his final season. 28 to Amen Thompson. Uh, we could do about 30 to these guys. 26, 29, 36. That's fine. System proficiency is five stars once again. Maybe we're going to be a trade deadline team this year, though. So Victor Wembanyama wins his first MVP for the OKC Thunder this year. We were about 30 games above 500 at the deadline, but I guess we didn't end up as the one seed. You have Gregory Jackson. Make it all the way first team. Zach Justice, what's he averaging? 28.7 and 11. Insane stuff from him. No John on NBA team. Jared Jackson Jr. finally makes an all-defensive first team appearance. We are the two seed in the Western Conference. We have yet to, I think, win it all as a two seed unless we did early on. Ja averaged 22 and 9.8. I mean, he's getting up there in age. He's, but he's 29. He's in his prime, you know? Damn, Caleb Foster averaged 15.5 points in 21 minutes. That's insane. All right, I mean, Max Evans wasn't great either, so he's not going to play. Um, Was Mike Jeffrey better this year he was you get about 15 homer gardner about 17 foster that's fine i should probably play him more but i'd like to go 31 to bane 38 to Ja. we'll do 32 to bane and then 31 to the front court can we beat the utah jazz like i said we've either swept or gentlemen swept i feel like every round one in this video we had three guys average 20 points uh, Cha averaged 63% from the field, which is kind of crazy. Uh, they got 390s in the Suns lineup. Giddy, Nick Smith, and Derek Whitehead. They also have Koel Ware. They're off the bench. Let's see what happens here. And that's a good team. They pushed us to six. You know what? Respect. That's a young Phoenix team. They could be very good down the line. Take it on the Thunder, who beat us a few years ago. They Blake Wesley starting at the point guard spot. Asur Thompson, brother of a man. Uh, whoa, so they don't have, like, yeah, Shea, he was in Dallas, right? So it's really just Wemba Niyama and Holmgren. I mean, we do have a good front court, but can we match up well against them? Yes, we can. We end up winning in seven games. Ja, Western Conference Finals MVP, and we make it to another Finals. They still have that front court. They still have that back court. It's a good Cleveland team. I think we beat them once before. I want to say we did. We win game one, Ja, almost with a triple-double. Game two, we pick up the dub. All right, things are looking great for us. Ja with a 42-piece. Game three. Oh, baby. Let's go. We win by 10 on the road. Job with 31 and 14. And it looks like the Memphis Grizzlies are going to be back on top. Yep. We sweep Cleveland. Look at that. We ain't done just yet with this score. I mean, we maybe could be. But yeah, John with 30 points, 7 and a half boards, 12.7 assists. He gets another finals MVP. So in year seven, we have won four championships. I got to win two more in these final three years. That is going to be tough to do. I think I may need to make a move this offseason. Would you look at that? Every team has their first round pick. That's kind of wild. I feel like you just never see that. We're going to bring back. Wait, is Taylor Jenkins? Oh my God, Taylor Jenkins left us. Wow. What team did he leave us for? Minnesota. Get out of here. I don't know like any of these coaches remaining. I'm trying to offer deals to assistant coaches, but I feel like they're all going to get blocked. Let's see. Um, okay, so we do get Josh Longstaff from the Bulls. I gave him a four-year deal. Might be a little bit risky. I mean, his rating kind of suck. Which is weird because he's always been like a top assistant before. So it is the draft time. Do I make a move? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's still such a good core. We have a good, like, great sixth man in the men, Thompson. How many triple doubles did he have this season? He had three. Okay. Ja had six. He had 19 a few years ago. So we end up with Lucas Tatum. <laughs> Should I just change his name to Deuce? I guess I'll bring back Tomas Finley, Max Evans, Matt Murray. We may make a trade for the bench, though, especially if we're going to lose Caleb Foster. Yeah, 28 mil. I'm not going to pay that. That puts us in negative over 100 mil. I'm going to bring back Brandon Clark um, on the... Oh, God. Homer Gardner's a free agent geez unrestricted too i mean we can kind of afford them all right so i'm gonna make a trade with the brooklyn nets we're giving them tomas Finley and max evans who haven't been great for us for two future first round picks from the nets uh so yeah Walt or west stewart who was the 59th overall pick a year ago i believe uh is going to be our backup center he wait or no we i think we just wait i just drafted him yeah yeah because i was like wait he's what 18 years old or whatever um so yeah he's gonna be the backup center um, we do clear up a little bit of money. I don't think I'm going to bring back Caleb Foster, though. I'm going to bring back Clark. I'm hoping to get Jeffries back on the qualifying offer. I mean, Foster is really good. That's a lot of money, though. And, like, Triple J and Aiden are both free agents next year. I'd like to keep the trio intact. Like, it's nice that they were OG Grizzlies. I mean, I'll keep an eye on Foster. Maybe his price goes down. Yeah, I've been monitoring him, and he hasn't gotten any deals yet, which is nice. So, his price still at 21 mil a year, which would go up to, like, 25 um, I think maybe we can get him back on a one-year deal. Let's see. 19 mil. There we go. Two years, 19 mil. 
No, we'll make a trade next offseason if we have to. Can I maybe lock him up on five years? Uh, that's not a bad contract. I mean, we do have, what, three years left of this video? So let's do three years, and I think we should be able to get him on that. Let's go. I mean, he's such a big part of our bench, and we do get Mike Jeffries back on the qualifying offer, so Homer Gardner is unfortunately gone. Mm, Bane might be the sixth man this year. All right, maybe we'll experiment with that, and Amen Thompson will start at the two. All right, so now that Amen is going to be starting to carry new, we'll see how this looks like Bane as the sixth man as he gets a little bit older. I don't think Clark's going to be in the rotation. Lucas Tatum I should probably give a little bit of minutes to. Um, he can get about 10 minutes a night, and then we are going to play Wes Stewart there. Um, not even Nate McDonald, who was just a bad first round pick. 15 minutes there. Mike Jeffries can get 18. 22 to Foster. Man, it's a shame he doesn't get more. Maybe we can do 25 there and not play Lucas Tatum this year. I mean, we just drafted him. He could be here for a little bit longer. 36 to Ja. 32 to Amen. 29 to Zaire. 30 to Aiden. Then maybe we do 24 there. 30 to Jackson Jr. System proficiency with Amen is five stars still. Let's go. I also just made Jared Jackson Jr. and Ja like Grizzlies for life. All right, so this team is 30 games above 500. It doesn't feel like that, though. At the trade deadline, Amen Thompson. His numbers haven't changed too much, but now he is averaging 10 assists tonight. Does that affect his triple doubles, though? Yep, already had a career high with eight. I think we're not going to make any moves, even though I should probably move DeAndre Aiden. He's in the final year of his contract, making 33 mil a year. You know, he's not an OG Grizzly like the players above him, so I don't feel too inclined on keeping him. Bowl Bowl is 30. Alperun Shangun is interesting. I would like a, just a really good rebounder as well. Uh, I'm not going to get Bam. Not too sure. Benedict Matherin would be fun as hell. Holy crap, he's elite. But we don't really need him. Um, Derek Lively. Oh, yeah. Uh, 25 years old. Three-year deal. We get younger at that position. I think I'll do that. Or Khalil Ware, who I don't get too often. You know what? Let's take him from the Phoenix Suns. Let's do that. Khalil Ware, he's in the final year of his deal. I should get bird rights on him, though. That's a little bit scary. But he looks like he could be a beast rebounder for us. So let's do this deal. Aiden, back to Phoenix. Back to Phoenix, why not? And there goes Wemby getting MVP this season. Oh, no Te or no Josh Longstaff. Yeah, that's also a wild card. New head coach, completely forgot about that. For the playoffs, a little bit worried. Khalil Ware gets all defensive second team. Let's ride. So the Suns, I guess, got better with that trade, Bring back DeAndre Aiden. I mean, they're a good team. Maybe I'd <laughs> break that up a little bit because I saw how good they were last year. Uh, they get the one seed. We're taking on the Jazz in round one. We had seven guys score more than 14 points per game. Wow. Uh, that's kind of crazy. That is very crazy. So I don't think I'm going to mess with this rotation too much. Well, it looks like 2K kind of altered my rotations a little bit. So Mike Jeffries can get about 12 minutes a night. Same with Stewart for the playoffs. We could do about 24 to... Oh my God. Yeah, 24 to Foster. Desmond Bain shot 49 from three and 98 from the line. That's a 70 true shooting. Chloe Ware can get 32, 31 to Triple J, 29 to Zaire is fine, 33 to Amen, 40 to Ja, and we'll do one more to Desmond Bain. So can we beat Utah? Like I said, I don't think we've lost two games in round one before. I forget who we lost two games to in the playoffs last year. I think it was the Suns in round two. And those seven score double digits, <laughs> Amen Thompson averaged a double-double. All right. Uh, we had three players average double-doubles with Amen, Ja, an assist and Khalil Ware in rebounds. Uh, taking on the Thunder, they have Ben Simmons, Trey Murphy, a little bit different team from last year. They still have Wemby and Holmgren, and we went in six. We have made it to the conference finals once again. Almost, I think, every year of this video, we have made it to the conference finals. And we are going to be making it to the NBA Finals. Ja gets Western Conference Finals MVP. You got Tyrese over there. I know they don't have Matherin. He's in Brooklyn. They do have a 92 overall Dylan Mitchell. I think we should beat this team. But when you think you're going to beat them, you really don't. And we win in seven finally. Oh, my God. If Like, finally winning a game seven here. Because if we lost in seven to the... Oh, like, uh, the Eastern Conference team again, I would be so upset after losing to, what was that, Chicago in Game 7 a few years ago. So that is title number five. I need to win one more title in these final two years to top the Boston Celtics and not tie them from the, uh, or in my 10-year rebuilds of 2K23. So we have the 29th and 30th pick. Okay, so getting that Brooklyn pick wasn't amazing. So we have two first-round picks to add, Oscar Pearson and then uh, Lonnie Swift, Josh Cage will pick up that contract as well in the second round. Where ops out, I'm crossing my fingers. I have bird rights on him. And hey, there's even a chance I have to move Caleb Foster, somebody else, just to re-sign him. So we do have bird rights. Thank the Lord. 
I think we're able to re-sign him. Okay, yeah, I can offer him a deal. I would like to bring back Brandon Clark on the minimum, even though he doesn't play. Mike Jeffries, I don't really care too much about. He hasn't done too much for us so far. Um, I know he hasn't had the like the biggest opportunity. He showed some kind of progress, like I guess potential in year three, but. I mean, if he comes back on the qualifying offer, cool. If not, I could probably sign somebody pretty solid. Yeah, like, well, uh, someone all right. So we should be able to get Mike Jeffries back on the qualifying offer, honestly. I think he's probably just going to play like 10 minutes for us next year. But we do get him uh, at least for the second to last season. And then we'll figure out that bench slot for the final year. Because I'm definitely not going to sign him when he's a uh, unrestricted free agent. So, Bain hitting that regression. I mean, Br and Clark doesn't really play for us. It's nice to see... Oh, Triple J haven't regressed yet, but yeah, Bane's an 84. Damn, he's regressing hard. All right, year number nine. We're going to have the same rotation. Um, Chloe there. We'll have... Bane is such an efficient shooter, but I think I'm going to somehow give him and Foster 25 minutes a night. Uh, Mike Jeffries can get about 10 minutes a night, and then I'm going to give uh west stewart a little bit more run he didn't really progress which kind of sucks but he's gonna get about 17 minutes how can i really do this uh 32 to Ware, 32 to jackson 29 to williams oh here we go 36 to ja and we'll do 33 to thompson and we can do one more minute to desmond bean all right system proficiency four and a half stars yeah Ware's not the best fit in the world and i did want to see west stewart's shot tendency because it could be incredibly low um we could maybe increase thompson's a little bit and fosters as well let's see what it is that a 68 okay so let's see what happens with the squad this year dyson daniels winning mvp for the new york knicks i did not expect to see that today and not gonna lie we didn't finish the season very strong we we had a really bad uh march and even kind of a bad february after the trade deadline uh we are the two seed though hmm I mean, the record wasn't the greatest, right? 51 and 31. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. I thought we finished in the 40s. Uh, so I guess I will take that. I I'm not too confident that we're going to win it all this year. Once again, we had seven double-digit scores. Mike Jeffries is just kind of like useless at this point. Wes Stewart was good, though. Uh, he's giving about 15 minutes a night. I should probably play Caleb Foster over Desmond Bain. Ah, Desmond Bain's still so efficient. We're just going to do that. Um, and then Thompson, really good still. Maybe I should start Caleb Foster at the two. I do not know. We're taking on the Lakers in round one who have Markel Fultz, Dean Gilbert, who was their uh, rookie of the year from a few years ago. He's really good. Ron Holland, I feel like I'm always playing him. Zion, clutch client. Made, or is he clutch client? I don't know. But either way, he's made his way to LA. And let's see if we could beat them or they're going to be the first team to win two games against us in round one. That is not the case. We are advancing. Job ja putting up 23.8 and 14 glow air with a great series. Now we're taking on the Rockets. We do have Luka and Jalen Green. Kenny Martin Jr. Scotty Barnes. Wow, that's as good of a big three as you can get. I don't know why they're not starting Baba Miller over Kenny Martin Jr. Oh, wow. They might beat us. Um, oh, my God. We went in six. Okay, that was kind of close. Kind of close. John ja Morant just, I feel like, always scores 23 points. Uh, now we're taking on Dallas. who have Shea. Ivy, no more Lamelo. All right. Oh, <laughs> they got Wemby. How did they have the con uh, the cap space to sign him? Because that's insane. They just gave him almost $50 million per year. But you already had Shea and Ivy under your belt. And they're going to beat us in six. Uh, Nick Smith, your finals MVP in the uh, Eastern Conference. So he's left Phoenix. And then you got Wemby there. So Mavericks versus the Magic. And the Mavericks win in seven with Shea being your finals MVP. All right. Final season. I have five rings. I'm trying to get one more to get six. Pop retires. Wow. He actually made it pretty far in this save. AD Hall of Fame. Pascal Siakam jersey retirement. AD gets his jersey retired by the Pelicans. That I don't think will happen in real life. That Nets pick wasn't great. It ended up being 21 and what was it like 29 last year. Do I fire Longstaff? Is there any like good coach out there that I could go for? Not really. So we end up with Duran Jefferson, Lothar Hasselhoff at 26, and we were Leroy Ramsey at 56 i can't speak west stewart jr we are going to um extend the qualifying offer. he's a free agent already goddamn or he might have been a second round pick that's why all right so with mike jeffrey's a free agent we're gonna probably let him walk unless i can afford him all right we'll bring him back we could probably trade him santi aldama reunion why not for the final season if we do lose west stewart oh a lot of red a lot of red for the final season i feel like i need to make a trade i don't know though i don't want to move desmond bain i really don't but Maybe I move Zaire? I don't know. I don't want to move Triple J either. Man, I really want to do this trade for Benedict Matherin, but I'm, I will not trade Bane. We'll see how we are at the deadline. If we're doing really bad, there's a chance I'll make a move and I'll pull the trigger on a deal. But as of now, we're going to wait it out. We'll play our good guys, uh, kill Foster a ton as well. All right, so it is the final trade deadline, and this team is 29 games above 500. Ugh, I don't know. 
I really don't know. I probably should have traded Desmond Bain, but you know, I need some, he's an OG Grizzly. I didn't want to have to move him. If we take a look at the standings, we are seven and a half games above the Warriors. Screw it. We're going to try to win it all with this squad. All right, so in the final season, Luka Doncic is on the Sixers and wins the MVP award. Josh Longstaff, first time gets coach of the year. Zach Justice, great player out of West Virginia, man. He's been a beast. Xavier Booker, he's in Washington now. Wemby, still in Dallas. Lamelo in New Orleans. That's his third team now of the video. Amen Thompson, all defensive second team, as well as Khalil Ware. Here we are as the one seed going up against the Nuggets of round one. They still have Jokic. They also have Trey Young there. Mikel Bridges and OG and an OB. That's a great defensive forward duo. Here's the scoring. Um, I think for the playoffs, I'm not going to play Desmond Bain as much. I mean, he's still shooting. 44% from three. He's just not the player he used to be, sadly. So he's going to get about 20. Santiel, Dama, welcome back. 15 for you. Mike Jeffries. You know what? I'm not even going to play Mike Jeffries. I'm going to play Wes Stewart uh, about 10 minutes a night. Uh, Desmond Bain, 20. Foster, 30. Triple J, 30. Chloe, 34. Uh, Zaire, 28. And then 33. And then we'll go 40 to Ja for the final season. Can this team that has a five-star system proficiency when it's sixth ring in 10 years. Six rings of steel, six rings, that'd be pretty cool. Mavericks still have Jaden Ivey. They have Wemby. They beat us last year. And this year, we're gonna win in seven. I think it was meant to be. I think it was meant to be. Taking on the three-seeded Warriors who have De'Aaron Fox, Bam Adebayo, Jabari Smith's an absolute stud for them. But who's gonna go to the NBA Finals? It is the Memphis Grizzlies. And for the first time in forever, John Morant is not a Western Conference Finals MVP. It is a Men Thompson going up against the Philadelphia 76ers, who are 12 and 1 in the playoffs. Okay, they're going to be really good. Yep, they have Gregory Jackson, Tari Eason, Derek Whited, Corey Kispert, Luka Doncic. It's a very good team. They have yet to play us. If we go down 1 0, I might make some adjustments. Okay, we do win game one by 11. Caleb Foster, 30 off the bench, a 30 piece. We do drop game two, though, by a ton. Huge game three in which we win. Let's go. If we can go up three games to one, I'll be so happy. Yes, let's go. We end up winning by five. Can we not blow a three to one lead? Yes, we can not do it. And we end up winning the NBA Finals. John Moran gets a Finals MVP. And that is title number six in 10 years, boys. We did it. We did it. We topped the Celtics. So my next 10 year rebuild, I got to top this. I got to win seven in 10 years. I hope you guys did enjoy though. Drop a like if you did. I did keep a bunch of OG Grizzlies in Ja and Triple J and Zaire Williams, Desmond Baines, Santi Aldama left and came back. Brandon Clark. Let me know which team we should do a 10 year rebuild with next down below. I love you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.